is. Beckett! Ian, boy, do I have a children's sermon for you today. I'm very excited. Mostly because I get to play dress up. But Jesus says in Mark that we need to stay awake. My dad showed me a Calvin and Hobbes comic to explain. Once again, dad's all weird. But if you don't know about that comic strip, you're missing out. It comes all the way from back in the day when they had these things called newspapers. But anyway, I don't think I can show you the comic. I don't want to get sued, but I think I can act it out. What's up today? Nothing so far. So far? Well, you never know something could happen today. And if anything does, by golly, I'm going to be ready for it. I wish I had a suit like that. Jesus tells us about all these bad things that could happen in the world. People fighting, not enough food, some pretty painful things. But he tells us a lot of those things will just happen. God will be with us. They're all of it. And then life will pretty much return to normal. And this will happen over and over again. What we need to focus on is not the things we can't control, not the things we can't do anything about, but we need to focus on being awake, which is great for me because naps are my least favorite thing to do. But Jesus is not telling us to give up on naps, but to be ready for whatever God might send our way. Like Kevin wearing a suit. He's ready for anything. We need to enter every single day like that. We probably don't wear the helmet all the time, as the teachers might not like that. It would be hard to brush your teeth. But you get the idea. Be ready for where God is going to take you. Because God is going to take you to some amazing places. So keep awake. No more naps. No more naps. No more naps. My parents are shaking their heads at me. So it's probably time to end this. Thanks for joining me for this children's sermon. Amen. <laughs>